the iPad OS 26 beta is starting to get to the point where it's wrapping up now. So it's been out for a little over two months and we're seeing weekly updates at this point. And that's usually when Apple starts to just do their bug squashing and their final fixes before their release in September. And we're seeing some really good improvements and some refinements, especially in liquid glass. So things are starting to look really good, really crisp. And you're getting some additional controls that I didn't see in the earlier betas, such as changing the actual shade of the clear icons from light to dark. Just that alone is a big deal. You're also getting some more functionality with those lock screens, which is actually really cool. I've been having fun playing around with the lock screens and what you can do with the clock. And especially if you have some good nature photos, you can hide that clock behind the scenes. It's really neat. We're going to talk about that more in just a minute. And I can tell there's been some major bug squashing, particularly with the preview app. I really am excited about this app and being able to work on PDFs just like you do on a Mac in preview. But there are still some bugs and we'll get into that as well. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here and I've been really enjoying the iPad OS 26 beta. This has been a huge year for the iPad. They finally come out with some really strong productivity features for the operating system. And I've covered a lot about what you can do between opening windows and file management and then just the overall look of the new OS is just really nice. I like the liquid glass. I'm a fan. It took me a minute to get used to those clear icons but I'm starting to like that and enjoy that more now that they've made them a little more refined and a little bit easier to see. Before they were so translucent I couldn't even tell what app I was looking at. So in this video I want to give you some of the updates that have been going on with iPad OS 26 in the beta version. We'll talk about some of those changes to liquid glass and we'll also talk about some of the bugs that still exist that are getting on my nerves that I really hope they fix before the launch in September. All right let's get into it. Okay first let's talk about liquid glass and what it looks like in today's version of the beta. So if you want to change your icons first of all if you're on your home screen you can just press and hold and there's an edit button in the top left just go to that and then you can click customize and so you have the older choices from last year in iPad OS 18 where you could tint your apps or make them light or dark but now you have the option to make them clear liquid glass and so you can change this from light to dark or auto based on the light in the room or the time of day and this is actually looking a lot better than it was several weeks ago when they first launched the beta and I at least like the option where I can change it back and forth so sometimes I let my icons be a clear glassy look and sometimes I like to use the color just depends on what I'm doing but that's definitely one of the features you got to check out as soon as you download iPad OS 26 you got to try the new liquid glass now along with that liquid glass is that new lock screen option particularly with the clock they've got some AI built into there so you can rearrange that clock so that it's actually behind some of the scenery in your photos so if you want to change your lock screen you need to be at the lock screen and then just press and hold you can swipe to customize or make a new lock screen and so I like to go to my photos and choose something I took on vacation so here's one I took in Hawaii and you can actually pinch and zoom to get the photo the way you want and then you can drag the clock the way you want so that it's actually hiding behind the scenery you've got to try that it's really neat it's the little tweaks like that that make Apple products really fun and cool to play around with so we'll see if they make any more refinements that's what they've been working on in most of these beta changes is getting that liquid glass to look just right let me know what you think about this liquid glass in the comments below I'm kind of anxious to hear what other people think of it all right there are all kinds of other changes that you can check out and I always recommend that you go to the tips app which is built into your iPad it's not very fleshed out right now but it does link you out to the web page where you can see all the changes that they have made to the iPad in this new operating system update you can see the windowing features the filing systems it's all laid out right there for you pretty cool or you can check out my channel I've got some in-depth video on that one of the coolest new things I like about iPad OS 26 is the preview app and so far it's working pretty darn well but there are definitely still some bugs so for example when I'm trying to maneuver the pages in a PDF one thing that's cool about preview on Mac is you can just rearrange the pages just by clicking and dragging well you can do that on the iPad but it's a little clunky and definitely wigs out a little bit when you're trying to do it so I would be excited for them to remove that bug and make sure that that's nice and clean so that we can move the pages around I've also noticed that connecting external hard drives is a little wonky I use a little sand disk thumb drive to move video files around well it's real clunky now especially when you try to import into Final Cut Cut Pro and I think this is more of a Final Cut Pro issue than the iPad operating system because they haven't been able to update Final Cut Pro the app yet so I think once they finally release the full version of iPad OS 26 they'll be able to fix some of these issues with Final Cut Pro such as loading in these files from a thumb drive but I have noticed it just loads slow and clunky in the files app as well so I'm hoping they work out the bugs with external drives something else I noticed in Final Cut Pro is my darn pencil features don't work 
works. And one of the coolest things about editing video on an iPad is you can write on the video. Well, none of that works right now. You can write on it, but it doesn't render. It doesn't show up. So again, probably not an operating system issue. It's probably just that the app needs an update and they won't do that till the final version of iPad OS 26 releases. In other news for bugs, I'm just noticing some crashes here and there, particularly when you connect to a secondary display. Sometimes that will cause issues depending on the display you connect to. I've got an old HP monitor at work and when I connect to that thing, apps crash all the time. It's really annoying. But if I connect to my Apple Studio display, I don't have nearly as many issues. Other than that, there aren't a whole lot of new things to talk about with these new beta releases and there probably won't be a whole lot of changes other than bug fixes in the next few weeks. We should be seeing that final version come out around mid-September, so look for that. I'll try to keep you updated if I see any other major changes. All right, so that's my rundown on the newest changes with the iPad OS 26 beta. I hope you're having fun with this beta if you've tried the public version of it. Let me know if you have any questions about this beta in the comments below. I'll check those out. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.